Trump was in Nebraska last night. First of all, I was a little shocked that he was in Nebraska because you would think that it's a very safe state. However, I found out today that Nebraska is one of the states that awards their electors proportionally. So if you get 60% of the vote, you get 60% of the electors. So that's why Trump is in Nebraska, because every vote counts for him. That is how razor thin the margin is. And once again, I'm going to reiterate, I do not believe that he is acting like a man who thinks he's getting ready to win an election next week. So this was him last night, Omaha, Nebraska. Now, if you've, if you've seen the news today, I think you know what we're going to talk about after we play this video. But here he is, supposedly a blistering video he played against Joe Biden at his Omaha, Biden's Nebraska rally. The agenda includes a radical vision to destroy suburbs across our nation. How are your suburbs doing? Don't ask. Are they good? They won't be good for long if they get it. And to completely dismantle... What's wrong with the suburbs? Triple police departments nationwide. You know what's going on. You see it better than anybody. There was a suburban commando rolled through about, what, 25, 30 years ago? To destroy suburbs and police. Just take a look. Roll the tape. We do this for you on this freezing cold night. Remember, remember he said freezing cold night. The suburbs today are not the suburbs of half a century ago. The suburbs are far more diverse than the cities. Oh, we're not even going to see the video. I, th I figured they'd pan up to the screen. This is going to be fun watching Trump watch it. Centralized government control by the left. Democrats want to abolish the suburbs. They are too clean and nice, and therefore, by definition, they are racist. I haven't seen that in the Democratic platform. ...on how to do this. It's called Affirmatively Furthering Fair Housing. It's a HUD regulation. It was written during the Obama administration. Biden's advisors plan to enforce it. Towns will be ordered to abolish zoning for single-family housing because single-family homes, needless to say, are racist. Low-income, federally subsidized apartments will go up in the suburbs. We'll also build 1.5 million new energy-efficient homes and public housing units. Sounds good to me. What are they bitching about? Hey, it's Ted McGrath. When I first... Ah, you shut up, Tim. We don't want to hear from you. Of course the Trump campaign has... Oh, it's the Hill. I thought we were watching this straight from the, the Trump, Trump campaign YouTube. But now the left is backing an even more radical plan. It was a bill <laughs> put forward by Senator Cory Booker to push low-income housing developments into the suburbs. So that was some of the bullshit that they were laying on people in Nebraska before he left his supporters all out in the cold. Literally. So thousands of people left out in the cold, stranded in Omaha after the Trump rally. The shuttles weren't operating. So there's people. Multiple people had to be treated for hypothermia. And that's on top of the fact that this is another super spreader event. He's having these super spreader rallies all over the country. So, like, he's having these rallies out at airport hangars. And apparently there was no parking anywhere close to this. So, the parking lots are four or five miles down the road. In fucking barren-ass Nebraska. Where there's barely fucking street lights. And these people were shuttled to the event. Trump takes off. Gone. These motherfuckers left out in the cold. That's what you get for going to the con man's rally. But even after that, they don't realize they've been conned. Because a news reporter spoke to one of them. Let's hear what she had to say. Anytime I can't feel my body, um, but I don't really need my body. This is about Trump's body. I think this whole thing's been blown way out of proportion. That's, that's what she just said. <laughs> 
She'll go out there and freeze to death for Trump. I feel my body, um, but I don't really need my body. This is about Trump's body. I think this whole thing's been blown way out of proportion, you know? Like, yeah, they didn't let us drive our cars here, but <laughs> it's because they said, you know, our cars are poor. And that doesn't look good on TV. You know, you're a TV person, you know that. I think he Whoa, 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 did she just say that they wouldn't let them drive their cars there because their cars look poor? He did this to teach us a lesson. I really do. What was that lesson? Um, well, that's not really for me to know. And it, He taught you a lesson. He absolutely taught you a lesson. You didn't learn it, ma'am. That's actually a pretty nasty of you to ask. Democrats want to have their bus rides and have their bus rides back, too. This is... I... She's not pulling a bow rat on us. Like, that woman is sincere. I've met these people. I talk with these people every day. You cannot penetrate their bubble. I have no doubt that she is 100% sincere. This isn't the Polar Express. Tom Hanks isn't in charge of this thing. He's in Greece being a pedophile. No. See, she's a QAnon! No. Listen, I would walk 750 miles in below zero temperatures nip nude just nip to... nude maybe that's not appropriate to say but <laughs> yes i've seen some elderly people passed out um and, and unresponsive um but to be honest the only reason there's so many of of those people is because of the media bro <laughs> yeah i've seen some elderly people passed out and unresponsive day <sighs> but Yes, I've seen some elderly people passed out um, and, and unresponsive. Um, but it, to be honest, the only reason there's so many of, of those people is because the media keeps counting them. And so if, if people... Whoa, whoa, whoa. She just used the, the only reason there's so many cases is because we keep testing people. <laughs> she just... And the only reason there's so many people is because the media is counting them. Jesus Christ! We I can't even get through this without pausing it and and just being shocked at the the shit that's coming out of her mouth. The only reason there's so many of of those people is because the media keeps counting them. And so if, if people like you guys weren't counting the old people that were on the ground, there w there wouldn't be as many. Maybe this was satire. I don't. God damn. Let's hope this was satire. Well, she loves Katie Lang. I'm I'm not seeing <laughs> Is is that her? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank God this is satire. <laughs> Thank God. I was worried there for a second. Now, apparently, though... This little doozy that came out a couple years ago is not satire. This was the anonymous op-ed from the New York Times published on September 5th, 2018. I work for the president, but like-minded colleagues and I have vowed to thwart parts of his agenda and his worst inclinations. She was on point. She fucking James Randied me. <laughs> but it wasn't until the end when she was saying, like, if you people didn't count the old people laying on the ground, I would have believed it because I, I hear these people say that shit all the time. So this was the anonymous op-ed. Oh, they've even... Okay, I went back and got the original, and they've added the addendum. 
because I was getting ready to reveal his identity in his blog, po blog post from Medium earlier today. So the New York Times has added his name to the article. So I guess we all read this when it came out. So let's read a statement from earlier today. His name was Miles Taylor. He came into the administration with John Kelly. He worked in the Department of Homeland Security. Saw Donald Trump prove he's a man without character. I mean, who who didn't know that already? That was one of the things. I have a friend who's, who's really big on uh, Mad Dog Mattis, General Mattis. And I pointed out to him that Mattis, he knew what we all knew. We all knew he was a con man. And Mattis allowed him to use his good reputation in order to help get elected. So that should really make you lose respect for General Mattis if you had any. He wanted the attention and the arguments to be on themselves, but I mean, he was a low-level staffer, so... It probably gave it more credence that he didn't put his name on the op-ed originally. Because people were, were speculating that it could be uh, Mike Pence. Some people were analyzing some of the words they used. There was some obscure word that Pence had used in a speech at some point in time and that it was also used in the op-ed. Of course they weren't about money. 